Hey guys, it's me again. Um, as you can see, my hair is wet. I just had a shower. Um, before I had my shower, though, um, Alex got home from work and told me something a little concerning. <laughs> um, as I think I mentioned before, his co-worker, um, her daughter has lupus and she's been through the ringer. Um, she was on dialysis and had all kinds of kidney problems. She had an aneurysm. Um, she's doing well now um, since she's been going to the lupus clinic um, downtown at Toronto Western, which I'm seriously um, thinking I'm going to get a referral to go there. Um, and hopefully see a rheumatologist there instead of even though I liked my new rheumatologist like this clinic has everything and they specialize in lupus so I think it might be better for me to go there and it sounds really great from what I've heard from other patients but anyways <laughs> he was telling his co-worker today about the headaches that I've been having um, I mentioned them before in my videos but uh, I've been having them pretty much since I started this new job, um, which was at the end of October. And at the beginning, I would just get them occasionally, um, just a couple times here and there throughout the day, not every day. Um, and of course, I always found the nights that I didn't get much sleep the headaches were worse than the nights that I took a sleeping pill and got a few hours straight of sleeping without waking up, um, which obviously is for various reasons, like sleep affects your health regardless. Um, but anyway, uh, the headaches did go away for a little bit, um, maybe a few weeks or so, and then they came back, and it, it was on and off. Um... But in the last few months, they've been really um, intensifying, um, and I pretty much have a headache 24-7. Um, the degree of the headache varies. Um, in the morning when I get up, um, it's usually dull or not there at all. Um, some, some mornings, usually the mornings that I take a sleeping pill, I wake up headache-free. Um, and my morning is usually headache free and then as the day gets on you know around noon hour it starts to creep up on me and just gets worse and worse and worse by the time I get home I don't even want to move um, the headaches are it's in this area and also a little bit across here but you mainly in here kind of behind my eyes and it makes me feel dizzy, but not like the room is spinning dizzy. It's like a really bizarre feeling. It's almost like my eyes can't focus. And it's almost like the room is kind of... It's like a swooshing feeling in my head. And it's like the room is kind of like... Not spinning, but tilting. Um, and my ears have been hurting a lot more. Um... Before, it used to be just when I would sleep on my left ear, and sometimes my right ear, but mainly my left ear, um, I would wake up and it would feel kind of plugged, and the cartilage part would be sore. But now it's gotten to the point that it's inside my ears, and it's like um, almost like a jabbing pain. And it's both of my ears, and if I don't take a sleeping pill, it keeps me up at night. Um, there's a lot of pressure in my ears, and I did see a doctor recently um i called in sick when was it last i called in sick last tuesday and i saw a house call doctor and he said everything looked fine as usual they never find anything wrong with my ears so he thinks the ear could be like an inner ear thing or connected to the headaches. But anyways, the headaches seem to be getting worse by the day. Um, and I mean, they really, like, by the by the end of the day, they are the worst, at, at their worst point. And movement makes them worse. And I just, I, I 
find I have trouble keeping my eyes open and just um, my eyes seem really sensitive to, to the light um, and my original thought thinking was thinking maybe it has to do with the fluorescent lights at my work um, I mean they are everywhere they're those big long ones and they are in every room every inch of our center and I know that when we had fluorescent light bulbs here um, I was getting some pretty bad headaches not to this extent though but headaches and I do remember when I ch when we changed to regular mm -hmm. light bulbs I did notice a difference um, I mean I still would get headaches but there was a major decrease in them um, and for a while I wasn't getting headaches at all for quite a few months until I started working at this job but they seemed to be getting worse and you know when I saw the rheumatologist she didn't seem too concerned but she was sending me to see a neurologist and get an MRI. The MRI is scheduled for May the 2nd. I still haven't received the appointment with the neurologist. In the meantime, Alex's coworker, um, when he was talking to her today about what I've been experiencing, she was saying that her daughter um, experienced the same symptoms for months, just like I've been experiencing them for months before she had her aneurysm. <laughs> so my husband was really worried when he came home and I'm a little bit worried too. Um, as I know with lupus every patient is different so I, I mean I can't positively say that I'm going to have an aneurysm. <laughs> um, but he's a little concerned and his coworker said that if that what she would do is just go straight to the hospital and that way they would give me the MRI right away as opposed to me waiting another week and a half um, for that and also who knows how long I will have to wait to actually see the neurologist um, because I still haven't received that appointment yet and I I called the rheumatologist office yesterday to ask what's going on with that and I haven't heard back um, I left a message they always have voicemail and I haven't heard back so basically what I'm wondering um, for anyone with lupus out there what do you think um, you know apparently her daughter had other symptoms kind of um, going along with the, the bad headaches um, she didn't have any ear problems but who knows like um, his coworker was saying that the ear problems could be connected um, with the headaches so I'm a little concerned and um, I'm just wondering what you guys think um, do you think I should go to the hospital or should I just wait till I get the MRI on May 2nd what would you do um, in my situation because I'm still so new to it, all this and I hate going to the emergency and waiting hours and hours and hours and hours and hours on end I mean if we went tonight there's no way I'd be able to go to the AGM tomorrow so I'm thinking maybe tomorrow night we could go to the hospital, but then that would mean probably there all night into Sunday, I can guarantee it. I mean, I'm just going to be so tired. So if it's unnecessary, I don't really want to go. So what do you guys think? Please, please let me know tonight if you can, because I'm just really wondering what I should do. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.